Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Where is the Money, Lebowski? This was sent to me by All Things Equal, and it's designed by Eric Poses. Where is the Money, Lebowski? That's a loaded question, dude, and there are many more creative, personal, and open-ended questions you'll answer in this hilarious game inspired by The Big Lebowski. Whether you've seen the cult classic film Zero, One, or One Hundred times, your enjoyment level and chance of winning are not an issue. It's just a game, man. Enjoy. All right, let me show you how to play. All right, so this game, you are writing down answers to questions and trying to earn money. Um, the game comes with these question cards, and they all feature, you know, different characters from the film. Let's just kind of go through just so you can, you know, see the art, um, which is nice. I like the art in this. Um, yeah, you can pick any one of them. We'll pick, um, we'll pick Walter. So, uh, this is the only card you'll use during the game. Uh, the rest you can use in different games. Uh, and somebody, uh, takes, uh, a card on your turn. You read aloud the top card from the Abide deck. And it just tells you, uh, which question to read here. So you open it up. Question 10. Walter demonstrates a strong passion for his Jewish identity. Who, what slash who do you identify with most? Okay. Everybody will then, everybody else has a sheet uh, and they will write down an answer to that question. No right or wrong answers. Uh, you don't have to reference the movie at all. You just write anything you want. Once everyone writes their answers, you take all the sheets, you shuffle them, and the player to the right of that per of the of the current player will read them aloud. After hearing all the answers, uh, then you must pick which one your favorite answer is, and then guess which player wrote which answer. Whoever uh, you pick as your favorite gets a card from the money. Uh, these are all random. Uh, and then if you, however many people you can guess correctly, you will earn money a money card for each one. For each one you get correct, you just draw a money card. If I get two people right, I will get two money cards. In the Abide deck, there are also, besides these, like, there are some, um, well, they're mainly just, but they may be like, take any one money card blindly from any one player, or give any one of your money cards to any one player. You know, they, I won't show them all, but they have some random events mixed in there. The money is in random denominations, and... That's the game. You just go around uh, asking questions, trying to guess who wrote what and picking your favorites. Whoever earns the most money wins. Uh, just some other examples of some questions included, like what would cause you to lose your temper? What is both simple and beautiful? What would cause you to cancel a pre-scheduled commitment? What is something you regret not doing? Um, so yeah, uh, those are some more of the questions there. Yeah, you just try to guess who wrote what and pick your favorites and whoever gets the most money wins. So these kinds of like creative answer games, they're never a bad time. Um, but the question is, is this one in particular really worth it? Uh, I'm not a particularly diehard Big Lebowski fan. Like I've seen the movie, I enjoy it. But uh, I'm not like, oh man, I gotta own a bunch of Lebowski merch. I do appreciate that the questions are still accessible for anyone to play. If this was just like a Lebowski trivia game, uh, it'd be pretty uh, too, or it'd be it'd be too niche, right? But the questions here are, you know, they're accessible for everyone. However, they are so kind of loosely tied to the movie. I'm like, does this really work for Lebowski fans? Like, I think you know some some positive aspects. I like the art. I think the art looks nice. Um, I do like the, you know, sort of mechanic of trying to guess who wrote what answer, you know. Again, it's it's a pretty pleasant experience overall. Uh, unless you know your friends hate these kind of games. Like, some people really hate games where you have to think of creative answers, answers on the spot. Uh, but the group I play with, you know, was game for it. Uh, however, the theme just, you know, for me personally, it doesn't really capture me. I think if you're a big big Lebowski fan, uh, then this may be worth picking up because, again, the art's nice. It, it It's Lebowski-themed. 
But if you're like me, a casual viewer of the film, someone who likes it but is not a diehard fan, while I do appreciate it's accessible for everybody, it's not something I would go out of my way to get. Playing it though, it's an overall just kind of your typical writing down answers pleasant experience. So it's not a bad game, just not necessarily something I would go out of my way to get.